doing. Can you believe it's the 1st of October? That is so crazy. I can't believe it. And I can't believe September's ended. I can't even believe that we're nearing the end of the year. It's so crazy. On this video is going to be about my September favorites and let's get started. So the first thing that I want to share with you is my makeup favorites. I I think my skin was like kind of in a weird place so I didn't want to put makeup on. So the only thing that I had that I was wearing every day was like eyeliner. But I bought these um, Stila eyeliners and they're the smudge stick waterproof eyeliner and um, I had like three more of these, one in like a black, brown, and like a nude color. Um, but I think I used all those up and the only two left are these. And what I love about these is that um, it is it is waterproof, but no, nothing's ever really like perfectly waterproof, right? Um, but what I like about these is that it's retractable. You don't have to, uh, what do you call it? You don't have to sharpen them and the other thing is that there's like little sparkles in there which i like it adds kind of like another dimension so it's not just like black black or purple purple or green green it's just it's, it has like these light deflecting qualities i'm not wearing this today i'm actually wearing a bobby brown gel eyeliner on today it's just mm -mm -mm. my hair is all over the place so yeah um eyeliners i really like eyeliners this month I went to Ulta. I got the Maybelline Master Graphic by iStudio, and it's a it's a liquid marker for a bold graphic look. So if you open it, which is kind of hard to open, it looks like this. It looks literally like a marker. And I used this a couple days ago, and you know it's not bad. I mean, you definitely have to work it because um, it skips. So, uh, but it does. It did provide. A good look for me the only thing I would say is um, if you use contact lenses um, put it on put your contact lenses on first I did the other way and it was like a hot mess so yeah uh, not friendly for contact lens wearers you just had to be really careful so yeah so let me see so, okay so for makeup, um, besides eyeliners, um, of course, I, sh I should wear SPF too. I actually didn't wear it today, but if I do go out, I will put it on before I leave the house. Um, this was a product that I got when I was doing the, um, what was part of the Laura Mercier, the beauty event with a friend of mine. Um, I opted to get products from the Laura Mercier line and um, I think this is my first time trying buying this and trying it on or buying it. I've tried this on before. I actually have it on right now and it's very um, subtle, like it's super subtle. But like right now, when I look at myself in the mirror, it doesn't look subtle. So anyway, um, this is the color Praline, Praline, Praline. I don't know how you want to do that, but um, pronounce that but praline praline that's what it is right and it's a cream blush and I don't have a cream blush so I thought oh I should get a cream blush so that's what it looks like it's very subtle and and that's what it looks like and I would say it's kind of like a brown tinted peach so it's definitely on the warm side so it's great color for fall so this is a nice blush. Um, yeah, it's very soft and silky, and so far I really like it. So this is my this has been my go-to to put color on my face. Um, let's see what else for makeup. That is oh, and the the other thing I like to put on are these buxom full on. What is it full on? Um, uh, full on lip polishes and I have the, I'm in the um, I'm in the color I have the color Elizabeth on me right now so yeah 
Mm. It must have like a mint oil in it or something because um, I don't think it's tacky at all. And it provides a little bit of color, a little bit of um, sparkle to your lips, and definitely dimension. So I really love this. I, I have like four others of these in different colors. This came in like a pack, actually five. So if you just want to put something on, you know, make your lips look alive, you know, have some color on it, I definitely re recommend something like this. And you'll, you'll not regret it. You'll be like so in love with it. And of course, this has this little tingle to it. So you have to be a fan of that. Otherwise, you're probably not going to like it. But oh, I love it. So that was that for makeup. Again, this goes back to the Laura Merce, the Neiman Marcus beauty event that was back held back in September. Uh, so I splurged and I bought myself some Laura Mercier body products. And I learned about this from a few YouTubers of mine. And um, now I know why they love it because I love it. It is so amazing. You know, um, these are not cheap. They are quite pricey. But the I have to say, this is the best, best body cream I have ever tried in my entire life. It's so, I, ha I used it today. I'll scratch myself like this really, really hard. Typically, I get those marks. But I do not have one single mark on me. And that is how strong this is. I, mean, I don't know what is in here. Of course, lotions are supposed to be, you know, just on the top of your skin. But I swear there's something that's different with this body souffle that penetrates the skin enough that when you really scratch yourself, you don't get those dry marks and it's amazing so if you know it took me a while it took me a year or more to really cave in and and give this a shot but in my opinion I think it's worth it and it'll last you forever I mean I've had this maybe for I don't know two weeks and that's all I mean I do, like today, I was a little bit like, okay, I'm going to lather myself in this. But on most days, actually, I don't even use this every day. I use it like only maybe once a week. This past week, I used it twice a week. But <laughs> this is so good for your skin. Also, um, it just smells amazing. It's vanilla. It's called the Laura Mercier Body and Bath. Ombre Vanilla Souffle Body Creme. And it smells amazing. There was a few scents that I could choose from. One was pistachio. Another one was lavender, I think. Another one was like a citrus scent. But amber vanilla was the one that just caught my attention. And I had to get it. In addition to that, I also got the scrub. And it's the amber, amber vanilla scrub. And this is what it looks like. And yes, these are pricey products. I don't know if I'm ever going to buy this again. But, oh, it smells amazing. And this scrub is so good, too. I mean, oh, it, it just, you don't have to get this in order to achieve, like, full maximum moisture from it. But um, I would, you know, if you can, um, try this out because this is an amazing scrub. I've tried a lot of scrubs before, and a lot, the scrubs that I've used before have the granules that are really big and kind of hurt you. You're like, ow, ow. It's like, you know, so why, why should I give myself such a horrible experience? But this is, the grains are very small, the granules, and I mean, it's just, oh my gosh, it's so smooth, but it really does work. You can feel it, like, once you start to do this and just oh it feels it doesn't it's it's you can feel it exfoliating but it's very refreshing it's a refreshing feeling those are the two things that I put in as you know it's more of like a body product thing so I'll put under body 
um, but it has a beautiful scent. Um, give me a second. Now, more along the lines of a true fragrance is the Black Opium Yves Saint Laurent um, uh, perfume spray. And this is um, 0.33 ounce. And this is something that I tried. I had like a sample of it somewhere and I had it on. And my husband was like, oh my gosh, that smells really good. I'm like, okay, I'll get it then. <laughs> um, and you know, it does smell good. Ah, so anyway, yay. Yay for YSL. Okay, so the next thing I want to share, oh, and um, because I have dry hands like all the time, um, I have these. These are from Bath and Body Works. This is the Island White Pineapple Nourishing Hand Cream with Shea Butter and Vitamin E. Um, I have this in the Black Cherry and Tangerine, I think. And it's just a nice little thing to have around because it's winter time, everything gets dry quicker, and I also do a lot of housework, so I get my hands wet and my hands get really dry, so having this on hand is great because it de definitely helps to um, keep my hands moisturized. And I hate the feeling of like dry hands because I just feel like, eh, you know what I mean? So anyway, that's been another favorite of mine. So. I think I'm almost done. I only have a few more things. Uh, favorite candle for me is the pumpkin spiced cheesecake from Bath and Body Works. And I've been using it quite a bit, as you can tell. Um, I've smelled a lot of their like fall um, scented candles um, and a lot of the varieties of pumpkin that they have. But for me, um, I like pumpkin spice, but Sometimes I think it's a little bit too spicy. So when I smelled this, it didn't give off that spiciness as like from the pumpkin spice. Um, I like more of like the cheesecake. The ones that end with cheesecake, I tend to gravitate towards because, um, because it adds a, an end note of sweetness. And I like that with my candles. Anyway. So this has been a favorite of mine. I highly recommend it. Um, go to Bath and Body Works and smell it. And if you like it, thumbs up, let me know. Or tell me what like your favorite um, Bath and Body Works scents are. All right, so let's see. Um, I'm just going to put these last two in because I feel like I want to put something else in that's like non-beauty related because it's fun and it's different. So uh, one of the things that I have been doing along with my husband, yes, my husband and I are kids, believe it or not, is that we both have a Nintendo 3DS. And yeah, um, it was, I don't know. Long story short, I have a favorite game. And it's the Happy Home Designer. And if you do or do not know what this is, or even what this whole thing is, the, um, let me see. This is, there's a little picture of what it looks like right there. Um, I have one and my husband has one and um, I think it was last year is when we started playing Animal Crossing and it's just this really really cute little game where you know you have your own little avatar and um, you create your own house and you make friends with your neighbors who have houses next to you and you go on these like challenges um, mini challenges like how to make your home nicer or like gathering like fruits from trees or going to an island and fishing and after a while it gets kind of boring sorry sorry nintendo um so anyway they came up with this and this was kind of an extension of that it's just that all it was now this is associated more with like designing your own home and before you had to like buy it with like gold coins and now you don't have to um, so this has been taking up some of my time. I have to say it's not bad. It's not a bad game. It's a really cute game. Um, and if you have the time and the resources, and if you're bored at times, which everybody is, you know, come on, give me a break, then give this a shot. This would be nice to just, you know, sit down and play. So that's been a favorite of mine. And another 
favorite is a book. Now this book is called 2312. It's a New York Times bestseller and it's by Kim Stanley Robinson. And um, I used to read like really thick books. I don't know what it is about thick books. I like thick books. Um, I'm only on page, let me see, 36. However, I have to say, this is quite a read. Um, you have to kind of be committed because it can be one of those books where you read the first five pages and you're like, screw this. This is like nonstop verbiage, nonstop like I have to go to the dictionary and look up this word because I don't know what it means. But in the same way, you learn a lot of vocabulary. Trust me, you will. I mean, even my husband, who's quite educated, um, has had, you know, like, what are these words, you know? So this is very thick, not just physically, but like mentally. So you have to really be committed and invested in reading this. I finally like crack, I mean, finished page 30 and I was like, okay, I could do this. It's just for me, I have to kind of be in the mood to read something like this. But yeah, this is a good read so far. I am not even finished with it, but I know I can finish it because it's caught my attention. So yes, that has been it. So I hope you like my favorites. Um, I hope you're enjoying autumn and fall like I am. I love this time of the year. Oh, I forgot to mention one more thing. So um, I have also been crocheting, yay! So I finally finished this. This is a shrug and this is what it looks like. And I'm so happy and proud of myself. Um, this is, okay, hold on. Hi, I'm back. So I found this um, project when I was at Michael's. And I know how to crochet from just, you know, learning on my own and YouTube videos and just people showing me how to do things. Um, but this is the project. And when I saw this, I was like, oh, I want to do this because it looks so pretty on her, right? And look, I did it. And I, I think this looks pretty nice on me. I'm really happy and it's really, really warm. The only thing is, is that it's, it can take some time to finish a look like this but you know I think it's so worth it because I'm so warm like and I think I'm gonna wear this throughout the winter um, inside the house um, because yeah like why not right um, but I plan on making more of these um, but yeah if you're interested in knowing how I made this let me know comment down below and I will show you how to do it so yeah and there's another project that I picked up and it's called the Maximum Texture Crochet Cowl. And I made this as well. And let me show you that right now. So this is what it looks like. And this is the first time I did it. So I think I kind of messed up a little bit. But I think with things like this is that you can mess it up a little bit and it'll still look fine. And I'll show you why. So I will put that on and show you. So. See? So, yeah, I mean, I, I just, I was like, oh my gosh, these are so cute. Look at these little bobbly things. Um, yeah, so isn't that adorable? And the reason why you get, so, yeah, it doesn't look quite like this, but hey, it looks like it for the most part. Yeah, so this is like so easy. I can t teach you how to do this as well. So yeah, so these are my favorite things to do around this time of the year. And um, and these are my favorite things for September. So thanks for watching. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.